Right, so this afternoon I started on this bolt and uh, instead of making four of them in one hit, I wanted to give just one a go first. So I didn't have any um, carbide tooling to cut this thread, so I just ground out some high speed steel. And uh, anyway, the thread's not, not the greatest, so I would have preferred better. I'll probably buy in a carbide tip to do the rest of these, it's just easier. Um, you know, it's hard to do offhand grinding and you don't have the machine to zoom in and take a look at the thread pitch to make sure you get it right. You can get it close, but anyway. So the major bolt diameter for a 7.8 bolt in this British Standard Whitworth is 8.750, so 0 0.8750 uh, in inches. Now, this bolt has to go through a casting, so they may have made this to fit. This is a little bit oversized, and this is what originally threw me. So this is 0.9 of an inch, okay? And it's quite consistent on the way down. Uh, it's down you know, 0.89 there, and back up there as well. But yeah, so what I did here with mine, I try to hit that nominal size, so try to match that, so I'm, I'm at 8. 0.895, hang on, let me just lock it up here for you. Yeah, so 0.894, not sure if you can see that there. And the thread, so like I said, I'm, I'm not as happy with it, um, but it works. So what I've done here, I've given him the same length, so pretty much the same length of the bolt. The head's a bit bigger, I hope he's okay with that. Um, otherwise, I can always take some off this end. Um, he's worried about the nuts because I uh, chamfer them both sides. He, he would, would have preferred it to be just a chamfer on one side, like the original nut, like this one here. Okay, and I said, look, it's probably best to use washers anyway, but anyway, we'll see how we go there. I might have to make some more nuts if he's not happy. Um, so here's the original one, and it's a little bit worn, worse for weather. And here's my one. And the thread is really nice. It's not, it's not loose in any way. It starts to nip up tight around this area here. Yep, and quite happy with that. Goes tight up just up the end here, but you know, it's uh, pretty good. So look, I'll show the customer this. I'll show Wayne if he's happy with it. I'll continue with the others. Um, if if not, I'll have to modify it. So anyway, look. That concludes part two. Now, I've got some other studs to make for Wayne, for this old vintage engine, and I wanna try and get that Coventry die head working to make these. You can see they're in a quite a, sorry, state of repair, some of these studs. And it's all, you know, they're all rusted and corroded, and as you would find with these vintage stationary engines, they're being left out in the paddock to rust and rot until somebody rescues them. So anyway, look, I've gotta head off, I've gotta, um, go and uh, attend my brother's funeral. So I've got a few videos in the can so I can publish weekly. And um, I start my new job. When you see this video, I've, I've probably started my new job and been there a week. So wish me luck and uh, hopefully I can show some footage of my new job with all the CNC machines and the manual machine shop as well. Okay, look after one another and I'll see you on the next Aaron Engineering video. Bye for now.